Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of our Pokemon VGC Battle Series. We are here, it is Friday, and we are finally saying a big farewell to this X-Ray team that we kicked off with a couple of weeks ago on the channel. It's been incredible playing with this team. I've had a lot of fun, and I really hope you guys have as well. So, just to recap before we jump into it and say a fun farewell to it all, we've got the Mega Rayquaza, the Xerneas, the Landorus, the Finny, the Incineroar, and a Serena. And as always, the team is down in the description below. There's a Poker Paste and a Roll Paste for you guys to check out. Take away, use, and do with what you want. And if you do use it, try it out let me know what you think of it but without further ado let's get into today's episode as always if you enjoy this sort of content guys do remember to drop a like on the video do subscribe to the channel for more pokemon content and make sure to leave your comments down below in the comment section because i love nothing more than hearing from you all so it'd be lovely if we can get above 1700 by the end of this episode um it really would let's go lead four to kick off today we're on a record of 17 and four losses with the team but we need to get back into the screen so you guys can actually so you guys can actually see it so there we go um we've not done too bad so we've played 21 games so far going into today's episode over the last couple of weeks um 17 wins like i say four losses it's not too bad hopefully we can turn that into 19 wins and four losses and that would be amazing that should push us over 1700 going into next week getting ready for that brand new team that we're going to be kicking off with on monday so don't miss monday's episode because it will be full of a fun pokemon of course and uh, it might take a little while to find our first opponent so if it does guys i'll uh, i'll just cut this and we'll come straight back to when we get into our first game and we've got our first opponent of the episode japan Youth player rated 1481 and we'll hop straight into team preview. So my first opponent today is running a team of Incineroar, Xerneas, Smeagol, Tapulele, Groudon and Salamence. So it is that Xerneas Groudon call, a very common call we're going to see, but paired with a Tapulele in this variant and we've got the Smeagol as well there to disrupt and cause all sorts of shenanigans on our side of the field. I think one of the things we could potentially do here is... Um, try a cheeky setup with Xerneas. I really do like the idea of doing that, although the, the, the Tapu Lele is probably scarfed and it makes it very difficult to be able to do that. Which kind of leads me back to just going Incineroar and Tapu Fini as a lead here, because it's quite solid, and then having options in the back to bring in. I think we definitely need Xerneas here and then the Rayquaza as well. Um, yeah. The terrain for ourselves is, is really important. One of the things we could potentially do is actually lead off with Xerneas and Incineroar and have Affini in the back just to counteract the psychic terrain because they might not lead with the Lele and they might just switch the Lele in to try and disrupt our board position and put ourselves to sleep. So that's something we've got to be aware of as well. So I'm going to do that. We'll lock in and we'll go into this first game. So good luck to my opponent and I hope you guys at home enjoy this episode. So we'll get into it now. Whoa. Let's see what my opponent's going to bring out. I'm scared of this Meagle though, for sure. We need to make sure that we're keeping terrain control. Without it, it, the psychic terrain is really disruptive for this sort of team. So we've seen like in an episode yesterday with the Aselgo took down our Finny before we could even do anything or disrupt the terrain uh, after they got it set up. Yeah, we're going to see the Smeagol and the Xerneas lead for my opponent. Hmm. Do they just fake out the Incineroar? Well, I mean, if they do that, well, they could fake out the Incineroar and just put our Xerneas to sleep. Which would be terrible. Like it, one thing we could potentially do is just fake out, fake out the Xerneas, and switch out. Uh, oh, switch out. Uh, this is a problem. This is a problem. If we if we switch out Incineroar, we get faked out, and then they set their their Geomancy up, which is not great. If we stay in and fake out the Xerneas. And then bring in our Tapu Fini. We get our terrain up, but then the following turn, they get the Tapu Lele in and can put something to sleep. They're gonna try it though. Ah, oh, we could have switched our Incineroar out for the Finny <laughs> and went for it. Never mind. Never mind. It's all alright. It's all alright. It's okay. We'll see the Lele switch straight back out. We've gotta try and 
get some damage onto this. Uh, we've got to switch our Finny out as well straight away, I think. That's the big thing here. So we'll get some nice damage. There's a Spore. Interesting that it's going for a Spore. There's a, a Moody Boost. Special Defense. And Speed Fell. Speed Falling. That's, that's what we like to see. Right, I think what we'll do is get our Tapu Fini the heck out of here. We will... Um, do we just go for a Snarl? Because if the, the Xerneas comes back in, it'd be nice to catch it with a Snarl to kind of reduce its damage output. And we'll get our Xerneas back onto the field. Smeagol going to withdraw. We're going to see the Xerneas come out for my opponent. I wonder if we see a Moonblast into our Incineroar. Or if it's into Xerneas. Hmm. Maybe, maybe chase down the Finny. There's a side shock. Okay, that's not the best. Like, really, it isn't. It's not the worst either. And we get the snarl off, which is the nice thing because now we can get the geomancy up quite comfortably here. Um, after the snarl, anyway, we can just sit on the field and go for another snarl if we like. Um, the problem is doing that we're likely to have the Groudon come in and I just want the Incineroar on the back in case that does happen so we've at least got the Intimidate to bring in once again and I think I might bring in Rayquaza here So let's see what my opponent decides to do. I think they probably want to maybe try and get the Lele out, but who knows. Okay, there's a Geomancy from the opposing Xerneas. <coughs> Could be worth just getting a Tapu Fini in and going Icy Wind Heal Pulse support, to be honest. Because we're going to see a Psy Shock here. We will take a decent amount of damage from this eye shock, unfortunately. But we should take less damage than the turn before. So let's see. Let's see. The eye shock once again. Mhm. Mm okay, that's fine. Hopefully, we can take a plus one moonblast from this range. I'm kind of hoping we do. Right, we'll get Finny in. Finny McKinney. Because if we can take a plus one Moonblast from this range, then we can get a Heal Pulse off into our Xerneas, and it puts us in such a good position going into the rest of this game. And I think I'm going to do that. And just dazzle because we'll get the Lele before it can attack. It's just about taking a Moonblast from the opposing Xerneas. And you've got to remember that we have got a Snarl off onto it. Lele going to switch out. Going to see the Smeagol come in. Okay. That's fine. Moonblast. Yep. Be into our Xerneas. Can we take it? That's the question. We take it like a champ. There we go. Smeagol will be down to its sash. Oh, no sash Smeagol. That's really good for us then. We get this heal pulse off, which is the biggest thing, because that's what we're kind of banking on. And now I think the Groudon probably comes onto the field. But if we can get one more Dazzling Gleam into that, that Xerneas, then it's in range for our Rayquaza to, to pick up the knockout with an extreme speed. It's just about preserving our Finny at this point. Yeah, so the Lele comes in. Gets the Psychic Terrain up. Hmm. Kind of tempted just to go for another... Oh yeah, well, just Heal Pulse again. Because they can't take us down. Unless they got Psy Shock. No, just Moonblast. We'll take this, though. We've got more health than last time. Yeah. Ah, uh, we got the special attack drop, which is not ideal at all. Is it enough to get the Lele? It is just about. It's not ideal. Not ideal. Okay, but we get the Lele, so that's good. Now we have to think about 
getting rid of this terrain because the Xerneas now should be in range, like I say, for that extreme speed to take it down. And if not, we've got our sash anyway, so it's fine. And then there's the mens, okay. The monster mens. Yeah. Now we just moon blast in heal pulse again. Um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty much done now, isn't it? Because they just can't, they can't take us down. And we, like it, even a plus one Dazzling Gleam is going to get this Mens. Mens protects. There's another Moonblast. I mean, they're hoping for another drop, I think. But they don't get it. There's the other heal pulse. Yeah, and we're just in too strong a position now, I think. Um, and what we could do is just switch it out to Incineroar at this point. So we've got our terrain for later in the game. And then just Dazzling Gleam once again. And then we get an Intimidate onto the meds, which is always very useful. Um, I think the only thing that could go wrong here is another special attack drop from the opposing Xerneas onto our Xerneas. And that means we wouldn't get the Mence then and it does open the door for that to take us down. But we'd get the Xerneas in the meantime. It would just be then we'd have to have a little one-on-one -on -one with the, the Mence late game. So here we go. Moonblast. Yeah, we take that. There's the drop. And I think the Mence will survive this now. Because we're just a neutral. Should take the Xerneas down. Yeah, there's the Xerneas. The, the Mence surviving. Like I say, that's kind of the worst case scenario for us here. There's a Hyper Voice. We maybe take this with Xerneas. Ah, we do, yeah. And then, yeah, that's enough for us to, to close up shop, really. Um, we I mean, probably see the forfeit come out here, I think. Because there's not really a lot my opponent can do. We'll just switch into Ray. And go for that Moonblast. And very good game to my opponent. There we go. So, yes. Excellent way for us to kick off today, guys. But very good game to my opponent. And um, we go straight into our next one. So, just hop over to our main screen. And uh, we'll be post haste getting into this last one. I am really sad to see this team go. I've had such a lot of fun playing it. It's been amazing uh, featuring it. And I just really do hope that you guys have enjoyed it um, all of the last two weeks. Um, it's been incredible. I think to end it off today, because I love this team so much, we'll go Ultra Necrozma version 2, and if we get one more win against Josh from the United States, our next opponent will be over 1700, which would be excellent. So we'll jump into team preview. And going up against Josh, he's got a great team. He's got a Groudon, an Eveltal, Salamence, Incineroar, Bronzong, and that Tapu Fini. So a really nice call here between Groudon, Eveltal, a call that I absolutely love and maybe, maybe featuring next week on the channel. Who knows? Um, but yeah, going into this, you've got the Tailwind support potentially from the Eveltal, the Salamence there, the Trick Room support from the Bronzong to support probably the Groudon here, the Intimidate support. Fake out support from the Incineroar and then the terrain support from the Tapu Fini that's probably got heal pulse. Um, potentially Swagger. Um, Haze potentially yet to shut down Xerneas because it is a big threat to, to this team in general. Um, okay, what are we going to do? Hmm. Like I say, Xerneas is really good here. Um, one of the things we could potentially do is lead Incineroar. Could this be one where we bring Serena? It's very difficult with Salamence, Develtal, Incineroar, and Groudon. It is very difficult. Um, I think one of the things we could potentially do is bring Finny and Xerneas as a lead. Um, and then Rayquaza and Incineroar. Yeah, let's go with that. I do like Landorus here, but I don't know if it's the right call for this one. So we'll get into it. Good luck, Josh, and uh, hopefully, guys, this is the the one that we're going to have to send us off with in a bang today, so let's see if we can do it. Whew. It's been a good run with the team, though. I have loved it. It's, um, it surprised me. I didn't think I would enjoy it as much as I have done. 
So we're going to see Eveltal and the Bronzong come out from my opponent. Okay. I wonder if we just see a Trick Room from the Bronzong setup. That wouldn't be ideal at all. Nope, it wouldn't. Um, one of the things we could do is switch into Incineroar and go for... Hmm. I don't really want to reveal the skull just yet. That's the thing. And I'm kind of tempted to try and get a Geomancy up with, with the Xerneas, to be honest. Or just even a Moonblast onto the Eveltal. Probably switches out. I'm going to go Moonblast into the Eveltal. And I'm going to switch in Incineroar for Tapu Fini. I feel like you switch the Eveltal out, though. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Um, we'll see. Ah, uh, the Groudon's coming in. Mm, that's alright. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. We've got the Fake out the next turn. We can get the Finny in. We've intimidated it as well. And one of the things we can do is try and utilise the Scald Airlock that we've got access to with this Tapu Finny. So, at least we're going to get some damage onto the Groudon as well, which is always nice. You might not even see a Trick Room here, you know. I just see a you know, gyro ball into the, the Xerneas. It's more reason for why I'm kind of bringing in the Intimidate here, just to dampen the effect of that, if that is the case. But it's more likely than the not that we're going to see. Yeah, well, that doesn't do bad damage at all. There's a Trick Room. Okay. Now this turn, we need to 100% fake out, get our Tapu Fini in. And just fake out the Groudon. And I wonder what we're going to see the Bronzong do. Does it gravity? Or does it switch out? Yeah, it switches out. What we're going to see come in, Incineroar. Ooh, that's tricky. That is tricky. Hmm. Okay. I mean, we can try and go for it. The Scald and the Rayquaza are in. <laughs> I think we'll get faked out, though. And the Groudon will just attack. Just Precipice Blades, probably. But we'll see. We may be able to get it off. You know, the Incineroar might not go for the fake out. Like, the Groudon's not really in too much trouble here. At all. Um, the one thing you probably want to do is maybe, uh, maybe you do scout the Scald on the, the Finny, so maybe you do fake it out. That's like one of the things, but I've got to try. I don't really have too many options in the back to do anything else. There's a fake out. Oh, great. Not good. Sword stance. Oh, not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Hmm. Okay. How many turns have we got left? Two. We can get an Intimidate onto this Groudon, once again. Yeah, I think we do that. It's just sacking the, 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 the Incineroar, which I'm not massively keen on doing, to be honest. Um, but let's do this, and let's Mega Revolve and Sword Stance. Yeah. And then the next turn we can stall out the last turn of Trick Room by going for a Protect if we need to. If Incineroar sticks around, somehow Precipice Blades might miss. Um, then... You never know. But it's a decent time for us to try and get the Sword Stance up, really. Darkest Lariat into the array. Mm -hmm. There we go. Fire Punch. Oh! Oh, we could have got the Scald off with our Finny. We could have just done it. Damn, 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 damn. That's, that's unfortunate. At least we get Incineroar. 
stick around for another day. Let's get Finny in. Oh, do we get Finny in? Do we just target down the Groudon? Like, fake out the Groudon now. And then go for the Incineroar with a Dragon Ascent. I think that's the best play. The, the Incineroar will go down then. And then, if the Groudon... Well, it has to protect the next turn. But if it if it does protect, then it means Incineroar and Requiza can take down the Bronzong before it can set up another Trick Room. So we've got that. We should take another Darkest Lariat. There is a point now I'm thinking the Incineroar's... Oh no, it's going to actually switch out. Okay, Bronzong coming in. I don't mind this really at all because... Oh, Groudon switching out as well. Ivalto coming in. Hmm. Now this Bronzong's going to be in range of a Flare Blitz, for sure, from our Incineroar. Jeez, look at that damage. The only thing I can think that would be a little bit detrimental to us would be a potential Sucker Punch from the Veltal. Um, I'm just going to Flare Blitz the Bronzong, and I'm just going to Protect here. Because I think... It'll scout out the Sucker Punch. We don't need to worry about the Bronzong doing anything here because whatever happens, we take it down with a Flare Blitz. Even minus one, I think, from this range. It's probably heatproof though, so maybe, maybe not. Maybe you need the Intimidate, uh, which wouldn't be ideal. But we still got four Pokemon. We can still maneuver around this. It's not going to be the worst. So the only reason I can think you bring the Veltal in there, though, is the Sucker Punch. Okay, Bronze, I'm going to withdraw. That means we've got no more. Ah, that's a little bit awkward because now we can't <coughs> we can't get around this next turn because of the fake out. But it's it's not the end of the world. Good safe switch-ins to like Finny in the back, which is all right. And I'd rather preserve. There's the sucker punch. There you are. <laughs> okay. Cheeky. Right. Yeah, we're just going to see. Um, right, let's you turn out on the Incineroar and switch Rayquaza into... Into Veltal, into Xerneas, into Xerneas, because now we can get our Geomancy up. 100%. And that Bronzong, if it comes in and we got our Geomancy up, then it still goes down. So if my opponent keeps both of their Pokemon on the field right now, then we should be fine to close this one up, I think. Xerneas can be the thing that cuts through what we needed to on the opposing side of the field. There's the fake out. Yep. Oblivion wing. Yep. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what my opponent does now. Unless they've got Raw on Incineroar, which I don't expect them to have because now we can just heal pulse geomancy and we're we're really kind of good to go um yeah just heal pulse and geo the Veltal's obviously got snarl which is going to be something that's going to weaken us for sure But they, I think my opponent has to try and adjust their board position here, unless they stay in and just double into the Xerneas. Which they might might do. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. Okay, the Geomancy before anything else, which is really really good. I'm just having a pause of silence. I'm sorry guys, you're just watching this and it's just like silence. <laughs> I'm just like, I've played a lot of Pokemon today. A lot of Pokemon. But it's all been really enjoyable. And I'm getting a bit tired now, but it's all good. So we get the Geomancy as a foul play. I'm going to see a last ditch attempt to get rid of it, I think. It's a bit of a mistake staying in, unless we see a U-turn. There's a heal pulse. 
no snarl either makes it even more difficult. There's a U-turn, okay. So there is, ooh, it's into the finny. A Groudon, I reckon. Has to be the Groudon. It is the Groudon. Okay. But I mean, we've got the Rayquaza to bring in as well now. So we could just bring in the Ray. Or we could bring in the Incineroar. I think Incineroar is better. And then Moonblast? The Veltal? Yeah. Yeah, we've got ways to deal with that Groudon. We don't really care about it that much. It's just if we've got Sword Stance here, that makes it a little bit more tricky. But if we can deny the Trick Room, then we know Finny Rayquaza can deal with it pretty well. So we've got that to fall back on. So the Intimidate will help us take a Fire Punch or whatever from the Groudon. Press Here's a Moon Blast. This should be enough to get the Uveltal. We do open the door for the, the Incineroar to come back in. My opponent's side of the field. Oh, it is going for that Swords Dance. Hmm. Okay. I mean, it's still alright. I'm still not too worried. Because could we switch out Incineroar now? into Rayquaza, protect Xerneas, and then the next turn we just Moonblast. Yeah, I think that's not a bad idea. I think you've got to, 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 you've got to fake out the Xerneas here. I feel like you do, impressive as blades. Okay, we get the, the Ray back in. Does it protect? Are we going to see? Fake out Precipice Blades? Fake out... Yep. And... Yep. I honestly think a Dazzle and a Dragon Ascent is probably enough. Um, one thing we could probably do to just... Nah, I don't think we Sword Stance here. I think we just go for... Ah, uh, we Moonblast. I'm not really worried about the Incineroar because it's not taking either target down right now. So we can just concentrate down on this Groudon. And it might switch out. No, it does protect. But I mean, we get it the next turn. And once Groudon's gone, we should be able to close this one up. What's the Incineroar going to do, though? We've got Z move into the Rayquaza. That's still alright. Okay, we're going to see the Bronze Zone come in now. Terran are here. Okay. Terran are attention away. Hmm. We've got a moon blast, the bronze song. Oh, we, yeah, I think we have to dazzle. Hmm. Oh, we could protect. Switch in Incineroar. Just feel like... No, we just do the same again. We just go for the Groudon and Moonblast. If the Incineroar comes in, it's not plus two anymore. This goes for it, yeah. We're not going to get it. We're going to be able to get the Groudon. And like I say, once the Groudon's gone, there's really no threat anymore. <sighs> Goes for the double protect tries. I'm pleased it didn't get it. Oh, here we go. Big boy Ray. Slam dunk. Once again. Still not over though. The trick room probably goes up now. But I mean, we've got enough, I think, to kind of close this one. <gasps> it's trick room. Is it Z trick room? Is it Shattered Psyche from like a Z Trick Room, isn't it? No bronze on Curry's Zen Head, but there we go. It's gonna start going for the shenanigans with Hypnosis, definitely now. We'll just switch Ray out into Finny. Um, get around the fake out, and then we should be able to close this one up pretty, pretty.
pretty pretty quickly. Oh. So yeah, like I say, we just want the Finny in just for the terrain support because it's likely to start going for Hypnosis now, especially with that plus one boost to its accuracy that you get from the Z Trick Room after setting it up. We'll just get Finny in. Finny can deal with Incineroar anyway. We've got Scald there. I don't know if a Gyro Ball will take down Xerneas. One of the things we could potentially do is switch in Incineroar the next turn if we want to keep Xerneas around. Yeah, there's a Hypnosis. Um, switch in Incineroar just to get the Intimidate, and then we've got something to pressure the Bronze on, and we can just go for a Moonblast into the Incineroar. And hopefully Xerneas is able to take a combination of attacks from both both targets on the opposite side of the field. I think we might be able to after the Intimidate. This is a pretty bulky Xerneas anyway. So I feel like we can probably do that. There's a Gyro Ball. Oh yeah, we're going to take a Flare Blitz. No problem. No problemo. Yeah. And then the Moonblast takes that down. And then we protect and Flare Blitz into the Bronzong. And that is a pretty, pretty perfect game. If I do not say so myself. And what a great way for us to end up the series with this team on the channel. I honestly couldn't have asked for anything better to have, like how it's went with the team. It's been amazing. I really do hope you guys have enjoyed it. Leave your comments down in the comment section below. We're finishing with the team. A record of 19 wins with four losses. We'll be over 1,700 with that in what we like 23 games which is pretty impressive so not too bad guys is it not too shabby at all if i don't say so myself but i hope you've enjoyed it guys we're going to end there for the weekend i'm going to let you go have a great weekend whatever you're up to we'll be back with some shenanigans a brand new team on monday so don't miss that episode just take care of yourselves have a great weekend whatever you're up to and i will speak to you all very soon so until then guys take care of yourselves and bye bye